Good evening, everybody. I hope everybody had a pleasant President's Day this February of 20th. Anyhow, this is James of ST Geotronics LLC, otherwise known as KM4YWT, making another addition to our little video collection on programming the ST Geotronics Open to Sky, or DSKI, however you want to pronounce it. This device right here. Anyways, today we're going to move right along and get into getting these Maxim chips working. The Maxim uh, 7219. There's another flavor running around a 7221, and there's four of them on the back of this. One, two, one, two, three, four. Four Maxim chips for four different arrays of LEDs. There's one. These six on top are one array. And then these here are one array, and these are one array, and these are these on the bottom are another array. So one chip runs on this six, seven segments, and down here it's just five plus our homemade plus and minus. This here is a board that's a, a prototype test of a Delta board, and these particular homemade three segment plus minuses don't really work all that great so we're just going to use it for the demonstration here tonight anyhow so first things first you're going to have to go and get you a web browser boop to doop 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 and bring the web thing over here and let's go boo boo boop let's change this a little bit Yep, to, to a Mac 7219 library for Arduino. And this Arduino Playground LED matrix and the Arduino LED control library playground has a whole lot of really good information on things you can do with this library. You can use the LED matrix part of it to uh, control up to 64 of these LEDs of your choice in a matrix. And the LED control library is the one we're interested in. And we're going to come down to this link right here. This GitHub right here. And we're going to go there and we're going to grab this library, which is the library that we're going to use to run the Mac 7219. It'll also work with the 7221, I believe. And you'll press the clone or download button like that. And you'll say download the zip like that. And of course, save it as a file. And it'll come on down. Doop, and it's down. And so we'll close our web browser and move right along. Close the web browser, please. And then we'll go grab our downloads, the doop. And we'll drag that over there so you can see it. And then you can see LED control dash master is right there in the in the downloads. And then we'll open that with the archive manager. Where is my archive manager? My archive manager has disappeared. So have I for a moment. But I'm back. Hmm. I don't know where my archive manager's at. Maximize. Oh, the archive manager is hiding behind me. So we'll close this here for now. I'll move over here. And look at all those archive managers that popped up underneath me. And then we'll hit the extract button. Like a so. And uh, he's going to ask me where to extract it to. And I'll go back here to my home folder. And my Arduino. And my libraries. And there you can see all my other libraries 
and then I'll hit would normally hit extract but I'll hit cancel and that way I don't have two of them in there because I already have one somewhere in here liquid crystal LED control there it is so anyways moving on that's how you put the library in your Arduino software ID so it works just drop it right into the libraries folder cancel and then I'll close my archive manager in Windows you'll have to use a unzipper like PK zip or WinZip or just Google unzipper for Windows and Google will give you a bunch of them that'll work with different results let me go back to my favorite side of the bed here all right and then we're going to crank up our Arduino IDE and um, file new I'll drag me a new file over here and then we'll make it bigger so you can see and then I'm going to go up here and go file and I'm going to go examples and go all the way down past the retired junk it's down here somewhere you'll have to put up with me because I don't see that well and there it is and there's LC under LED control there's LED demo seven segment test all right and we're going to open that right there boom and now I'll close this one because I don't need him anymore and we'll make this one bigger so that you can see it and this here is the LED control seven segment test all right and that's right 12 10 11 and 1 okay there we go there's the whole ball of wax all right so now we're going to get our test board with an Arduino Nano already mounted on it this Arduino Nano is a virgin it's running blink we can plug it in if I get the plug right and you will see that it is running blink indeed the lights for the keyboard are on because they're always on something in our next rendition I may put in a MOSFET that PWM controls the brightness of the keyboard been thinking about it for a while anyways and you see these seven segment LEDs are doing nothing so now we're gonna go over here and we're gonna upload this we're gonna check to make sure that we have a nano and we're on USB 0 and USB 0 has a check mark so it's all good and then I'm gonna upload this to the Arduino Nano and hopefully we'll see something happen on these seven segments maybe if we're really really lucky there we go and now he's just kind of doing a bunch of gibberish and acting really really weird because if you look at this code over here this test code and you read it it says to include the LED control dot H which is the uh, base software for the LED control library and then it says LED control equals LC LED control LC equals LED control and then it has four arguments a 12 10 11 and 1 12 is connected to the data in pin 11 is connected to the clock 10 is connected to the load pin and we only have a single max 72 XX so what that means is that you'll notice that there's a one right here well that one is just sending it to one and since it's a shift register it's shifting the stuff on out to the others but it really doesn't know what it's doing it's really just acting like a whole bunch of craziness you know what I'm saying so anyways we're gonna modify this code a little bit and it's got a thing in here where it's it's trying to write Arduino I think you can see it on this one it says a r d u i n o every once in a while there it goes that was it it wrote Arduino real quick so anyways we're gonna modify this 
and we're going to modify it quite a bit actually and we're going to call it this here point oh that's way too big what did I do someone needs to get me in control dump dump all right this is ours right here I'm just going to make them bigger where you can see it the differences are actually this is wrong we just let's get rid of this comment here control X all right so I changed the LED control 12 comma 10 comma 11 1 to that I just changed the 1 to a 4 and that way this program knows that it's got four maxims that it's controlling and all the rest of the stuff is fine and then I'm gonna then I've added these lines of LC shutdown zero faults which it already had and then I made a LC shutdown one two and three faults and added those three lines and set intensity I added those three lines and LC clear display I've added those three lines so that it gives all four maxim chips a good fresh startup every time and then I kind of did away with the right Arduino because I just wanted to scroll some digits and display that what it's doing so anyways and it's just a couple of loops that scrolls numbers um, 1 0 through 12 and does it on all of them one after the other and now we'll load this program and it will act a little bit more sensical and you'll see in a sec it'll come on and be making more sense there it's doing the first maxim and counting the second maxim and counting this may make more sense if I change the camera back there we go that looks better for this part of it and you'll notice the plus minus segments are lighting up and doing kind of weird stuff that's because we're actually in control them later by um, sending them a uh, a binary number to select which digits we went on we want on We'll actually cover this later. This is just a test to see that you've got the maxim soldered down right, the LEDs soldered down right, and that everything works. Tonight's going to be a short night, so you don't have to listen to me ramble for a whole 30 minutes. Anyways, so that's how you run the uh, LED test code for the maxims, the LED test or seven segment array test code to see that it's working and um, later on we'll in the next thing the next ad addition to this um, video collection we'll start talking about how to put real intelligent data on these things and I just figured I'd make this little contribution for tonight and as people are starting to build these boards and where they can test this feature and tomorrow we'll probably talk about getting some data out of the gyroscope real handy to put the gyroscope data on here where you can see what it's doing that's a lot more interesting than just this little test so anyways thanks for watching i'm james of snt geotronics llc otherwise known as km4ywt um, i'll be on the air in the afternoons after five usually uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 7.055 could be as low as 7.040 or as high as probably 7.065 or so running constant wave anyways hope to see you around good night this is KM4 YWT going clear